Yippee Kaye, I am Zedmont. Radio silence is over, and my first ever sneak peek is here. So, first off, I'm going to talk more about sneak peeks and stuff at the very end. I got a lot of thank yous to say, but for right now, I want to jump right into the meat and potatoes of this update, or the Christmas turkey of this update, and say, first off, in the background, you're going to hear some bells. They've added some themed music, some seasonal music. It's obviously snowing now instead of raining or sunny, and the ground is covered in snow. The winter update did, in fact, bring winter. Surprise. Surprise. Now, a lot of people were speculating about this. Yes, indeed, it did. You'll notice there's a nice little ice shelf around the hero hut there. Kind of neat. Now, um, one of the things that you may or may not like about this, if you look in behind my weapons lab there, my Doom Cannon is exposed. In the old version, a little bit of magic here, look at that. In the old version, that was a little bit hidden by the mangrove trees. The mangrove trees have now died, and kadoosh, things are very, very visible. Now, one more thing you'll notice, my statues are lit in red and green for Christmas cheer. These, I'm on the dev build. I just wanted to throw those out there because they look like Christmas lights and very, very seasonal. I Everything you'll see here is on the dev build. It is about to be released for you in the next day or so. So if you see something that's weird, like a level 80 or something like that, that is just dev build stuff, not something to worry about. So... Moving right along, down here you'll notice that there's no more four resource boats. There's one resource boat. Rather than having to click four times, you now click once. Minor detail, but if you combine the fact that all the residences are now com collected with one click, we're talking about one click now, or sorry, two clicks, instead of like 13 or 9 or whatever. Some number bigger than two is all that matters. Saving us clicks, making things a little bit more easy on us. Simple, small changes, and that's sort of the theme that I'm getting from this update. This update is about small changes, it's about bug fixes, that is what we're talking about here. There's not drastic, oh my god, seven new operations and four new heroes and like HQ25 or something like that. This update I am really, really excited about, and primarily because it's they've taken it back to the basics, they've cleaned some things up, they've bolted on a couple little things here and there that will potentially be cool going forward but they just kept it simple so speaking of keeping it simple we've got some things that we've seen before the cryo bomb is back it is here for the christmas season i don't know the exact dates i think it's like december 20 like whenever this thing drops until like January 12th or something like that. I don't know the exact dates, but the cryo bomb is going to be awesome. Now, one thing I've been messing with is trying to figure out what its radius is. Every the a level 65 base has 24 mines. If we drop this in the middle, it leaves us with eight mines. That is telling me that the diameter is 16, so you can clear a ton of mines with this baby. And on top of that, you can also damage a ton of your troops. Look at all that damage. It slows things down, it does damage, it clears mines. It's going to be a game changer for operations, for PvP, for Dr. T, all of the things. It's going to be cool. I've only just scratched the surface, haven't had a lot of time to work with it, but my first guess is it's going to be fantastic for um, operations and RCZM and clearing mines, but that's all. I mean, I'll show you here. I'll show you Dr. T here. I'm gonna attack Dr. T here. Now, all of these mines before, I would have probably barrage retreated like four times and annoyed you, and it would have cost me probably 10 GBE for the barrage and three for an artillery. But instead, now we can put one cryo bomb for six GBE right in the middle and clear all of the mines every time. Look at those little snowflakes floating above. Aren't they pretty? And now obviously these cryo bombs go up by 8 GBE every time you use them, so they get pricey very, very quickly. But for the one-off clearing the mines, it's going to be fantastic, especially Dr. T. Um, it's gonna and then as for PvP, if you're using RCZM, it's gonna make your attacks clearing, it's gonna clear the mines for you, it's gonna slow things down. Um, I wanted to show one more thing. This is what I am picturing for an operation hit. 
this is, I'm really excited about this part. I don't know if it's actually going to work or not, but here's what we've got. Operation attack, smoking in behind the headquarters, throwing one shock and two cryo bombs. Now watch this. One, two, three full salvos. Down goes the headquarters and none of the rocket launchers have fired a single shot. Now, obviously, it depends if you have the delay or not, but that is going to be very, very cool. I'm excited about that. Cryobomb is going to make some operation attacks very, very interesting. It's going to make PvP interesting. It's going to make Dr. T much easier. Uh, whether or not PvP will have to adjust to it, I can't say for sure, but I'm, I think it's pretty cool. Now, you'll notice right in the dead center of my glowing statues here, I've got a nice little hole. If we look under here, we've got a new tab called the Decorations tab. The Decorations tab is exactly what it sounds for, like. It's got decorations. This this Christmas tree, or Beachmas tree as they've ch chosen to call it, does absolutely nothing. It's not going to make your attacks stronger. It's not going to make your Zookas walk in straighter lines or skinnier lines or anything like that. It's just a decoration. If you log in between December 18th and January 12th, don't quote me on those dates, please. Just log in every day and, and get it. Um, you will get this tree. It's only going to be available once, it's, and you'll never be able to get it again. You'll get it for free. You don't have to pay for it. But uh, it's kind of neat. I mean, you can just you can put it away whenever you want. If you want to have Christmas in June or July or March or whatever, you can put it back out. It doesn't do anything. It's just a decoration. But one of the things that I'm pretty excited about about this is that this is opening, as you can see here in this decorations tab, coming soon. They could do decorations for Halloween, for Easter, for birthdays, for Project Red. Um, they can do it for anything they want, and they can do it whether it's free or pay. Now, I like this because, A, if I, it's like buying hats in Team Fortress. If you can do something like buy something that doesn't do anything, or big head mode, or whatever it might be, and it, it doesn't give you any advantage, I am all for it. Especially if they can, say, put half the money to charity or all the money to charity or whatever it might be, if you can support a cause or whatever. Anyways, without getting going too long down, far down that road, I want to show you what the Christmas tree actually looks like up close. Look at this. It's just straight up a Christmas tree. In the bottom right there, you can see it's got some holes in a present, some sort of animal or something. When your turrets turn, the little box will shake. And when you touch it, out comes a surveillance camera. Again, just little details. The surveillance camera doesn't do anything. The tree doesn't do damage or anything like that. It's just a Christmas tree. But it's... I, I realize that I sound like a little bit over the top about this. I, I know it's minor details, but I like the fact where this is going. They're fixing errors. They're cleaning things up. Not doing drastic changes. Doing little tiny incremental changes. I like the small stuff. Uh, whenever there's a big change, I always get a bit nervous because things tend to break. So, um, I think that's about it. Um, I don't know if the cold b bugs you or not, but the colds never really bothered me. So, um, I'm just trying to sneak in as many, uh, do you want to build a snowman type references as I can. Something, something, you'll shoot your eye out. Winter is here, Christmas is here. We've got, I've, I've heard there's a new animal that's gonna be on the beaches. I've been watching patiently, like so patiently for hours now and I have not managed to spot it. I'm not gonna give away what it is, but keep an eye on your beach. I've been told there's an animal that's going to be on there, but I they could be just making me stare at my beach because I have not yet seen it. That's it. This is my first ever sneak peek. Please give me a lot of feedback, and for all the people who posted on Discord, posted on the forums, posted on Reddit, um, bugged Arlight, bugged Drew, politely I hope, thank you very much. I obviously would not be making this sneak peek without your hard work. I greatly, greatly appreciate all of those kind messages. Um, but again, that's it. A small update, um, little things, Christmas cheer. I hope you enjoy it. I am pretty stoked. Uh, I have been speaking about how excited I am for the last almost 10 minutes, and I hope some of that excitement gets across to you. If you have any questions whatsoever, please hit me up in the comments. I'll answer all of the questions I'm allowed to. 
but and hopefully not more than that but thanks for coming in i hope you enjoy please like share subscribe comment all of those sorts of fun things i'm zedma also known as anon moose i hope you have a fantastic holiday season whether it's christmas or hanukkah or whatever you celebrate thank you very much for coming in peace <laughs>